Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Lucinda Joseph. The anti-corruption agency ACA is investigating SAPP chief Dato Yong Tek Lee over the alleged payment of 5 million ringgit from the sale of shares belonging to a state-owned company to his agents in 1996 when he was Sabah chief minister. ACA's director of investigations Dato Mohammad Shukri Abdul says officers from the ACA headquarters would handle the investigation. He says the focus will be on the evidence given by former director of Brismark Enterprise Sindrin Berhad, Dato Wasli Mohammad site in the High Court on Thursday. He is that ACA would conduct their initial investigations for abuse of power and accepting bribes. Beginning July 1st, employee provident fund contributors can get their spouse or children to contribute additional savings into their accounts. EPF Chairman Tan Sri Samsudin Osman says this is a new initiative under its Beyond Savings scheme aimed at increasing the retirement savings of contributors. Under this initiative, the husbands, wives or children of contributors can top up their spouse or parents' account one savings at any time in cash or by cheque. He says their main concern is that contributors will have enough savings when they retire. Samsudin says this after attending the opening ceremony of the newly renovated EPF Straw building at Jalan Uplands in Kuching Friday. A company director claimed trial in an EPO Sessions court to 94 charges of money laundering involving some 23.3 million ringgit. Kuban Sien Beni pleaded not guilty to transferring the proceeds of unlawful activities from the company's bank account to his own between March 2005 and April 2006. The director of G Gold Gallery, Sindrin Berhad, was also similarly charged with transferring such money from the company's bank account to genius talent Sindrin Berhad, Lin Chun Jewelry Sindrin Berhad, PC Bullion Sindrin Berhad and Top Gold Resources Sindrin Berhad during the same time. Judge Rasida Che released Ku on 1 million ringgit bail and ordered his passport be surrendered to the court pending mention on July 16th. For more updates, log on to thestar.com.tv. I'm Lucinda Joseph. Thanks for watching.